Hi everybody, it's Colin here from Woodthorpe International. Over this last week, I've done a uh, week and a half, I've done a lot, a lot of fiddly stuff. Um, I've had to make my own handrails now because I've run out of the finer mesh stuff. And I'm alright with what I've done because it's a totally different area. Um, so and I've done uh, there's some some of the stuff is stuck down which I'll show you now it is definitely now looking like a ship instead of an overgrown tugboat kind of thing you know uh, not tugboat canal boat um, there's two uh, workers in the control room in boiler suits because that's what they tend to wear there is a captain in there he's called Col Colin so Captain uh, Colin's in there and he's got his little yellow stripes on but you can't see them uh, because they're at the very top of course <laughs> and there is a pilot on the edge of the uh, footplate looking down the length of what will be the dock land uh, checking that everything's okay so I'll show you that uh, there are a few more men there's only about 15 men at the most what work on these these ships so there isn't many to do uh, I've got some string coming for the rope and I'll show you because I've made my own wing shears uh, I had a look online and there's some electrical uh, motors inside boxes what you don't see so i thought that that's quite an easy one to do with the winches and i'll explain how they work because it's quite fascinating how they work really um so and i have some news of changes to the layout uh for the better i believe so i'll let you in you know after I've shown you the boat, I'll explain that. So, nice uh, to speak to you and see you, and uh, on with what I've been up to. Well, so, this array of stuff here, um, this uh, I have for my uh, knees to help the joints. Uh, all this here, is what I used to make what I'm going to show you uh, the living accommodation and a um, mask at the front and uh, just different things it's all evergreen stuff this here uh, here is a little bit of end section but the other way up for handrail and then it's just the uh, plastic sheet and card and that not the actual container what's inside it so I'll uh, show you what I've been up to with them uh, and spray paint basically and normal paint which I'll show you and these were what the figures came out of uh, had to be all painted so I will show you what I've been up to now it's harder to see uh, but not uh, the, the lower bit because it's stuck down and I've put the uh, cell guides in now they're stuck the two I've done which you know about so I'll show you so that's what I've been up to building the accommodation for the workers and as I said we have some workers inside um, if I can get it to focus again sorry there's me in my white shirt and lapels on you know, Captain's got to look smart. And there's the radar stuff I've uh, made myself. And that's a hatch for how they get up 
to the top. These are like just aerials for general radio. That's the old fashioned turning radar. And this one is a new modern one. And this boat's trying it out. Uh, I quite like that. And if you was wondering what the tablets are for, that's one of the tablets. Now, if I get, uh, I've got half of one here. Those tablets are the ones where they're in a, a, a shell, what you eat, and the actual formula is inside. Now, I split one and put blue tack in underneath so I could stick the pole in. But I just wanted something that shape because that's what the shape is. And the chimneys at the back, they come up in the back of the building and different radars so and then I stuck some equipment in there well not so much equipment if I can get it to focus just it, with the eye you can see there's like a control panel on the back and down the front there's all sorts of knobs and buttons and stuff but unfortunately it doesn't show up on the camera but I know it's there and there's the pilots looking down the length of the ship because he needs to see that when you look down the length of it um, for you know telling these tug men you know push it in a bit more or it's ready to go whichever way you know it's going in or out these now are all stuck on this is all stuck down um, my trap doors I've just taken my trap door out to get a winch in there because I want to be able to show the winches just in that area there and here's my um, mask at the front and the idea of that is is so when the captain's looking from back here at this sort of level if I can get it in and there's all stuff in front of it if my hands are the containers he can see where the center of the boat is as well so, uh, and there's a door at the bottom, steel door and a door at the top, and that's got a ladder inside and the climb up the ladder, just to change, because this also has a lighting. Now again, that's a, another half of a tablet, and I just painted it blue. I haven't put a light in. And other things I've done, this is the winches I've made, the motors in here, and there's a guy who controls them. Now, the interesting bit about this, uh, which I'll show you on one what's not got paint on, because it's a bit easy to see. And there's some, uh, the rope will come out of here, round that, and through the hole, which is there, and the same with this one. And they are taut, and they have to pull against stuff, so you have these there. And I put uh, yellow markers to warn the men that you can, you know, it just makes it stand out a bit. There is a little pattern you put on the ground, but I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Might be a water slide. But if I just put this half a one up, what happens, the rope is round this one, and the undo it, the thread it through the ship down to the dock, and once it's hooked onto the dock, they reverse the motor, but in, if they was to just reverse the motor with the rope round that rope as you can imagine it'll get tighter and tighter and give 
uh, on a spool. You know, you can tighten it, you know, wrap rope around something and then pull it even more. Well, that's then unsafe. So what they do is, it spins, say, towards us to, um, to get the rope off, depending which, if the rope's at the top or the bottom, coming out this way. And then the hooky through that gap there and then reverse the motor and it nips it and pulls the rope back towards this and the just it just goes round this spool then and it might only go around once or twice but then when it's tight the rope won't move then where on this it can just keep if it was just reversed and back on there it would actually uh, tighten up when they were you know when it they don't want it to move so there's uh, two at the front hence the two here and there'll be two on this side because they don't know which side of the dock they're gonna be at and then there'll be two or oh, uh, a two and a single under here to go out of to these and down to the dock that way now I'm just gonna put them in they're just there so if I hit the camera goes down you'll see them um, so I'm quite pleased with them. I've just got to weather that. I haven't stuck that down yet. I haven't stuck these down. I've only just done these this morning. Uh, quite fiddly. Uh, making it look right. The first one I did, I did the diameters of that and the smaller one there, uh, too big. The measurement sounded okay, but when I put it on the ship, it was just too big. Uh, so I had to recut them. So now, when you I take this off, <laughs> it's now actually looking more like it should do. Uh, it's made a big difference having this on. And that actually on, um, um, and the men get out through. There's lifts in these, and there's fire stairs inside, and they're all sealed up in steel. So any fires, they can still get down the staircase. Uh, I am going to put, if I can, make one a um, light bulb. Maybe one on both sides, uh, or two different types. Uh, they have different types on. I haven't decided how I'm going to do them yet, but it's. Uh, I, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I still got to get on with them. Can't do everything. That was quite fiddly in the handrails. Yeah, making all them. All these are individuals just stuck on. Uh, very, uh, very fiddly. But enjoyable. And it, it does. It looks totally different to the eye. Unfortunately, I can't get the camera to show you what I can see. But we all know this when we film. It's so much different. Uh, looking at anything with your own eyes and through a camera and somebody else you know moving about and bobbling basically holding the camera like I do so up to now I've got another wheel winch to make for this side there's two more of those it's sprayed uh, but I've got to put the yellow on and then I have another project in mind. And this is all part of the change as well. So I'll explain what's going on. But just one more look at the ship down the lane. 
Um, I'm uh, really uh, happy how this is turning out. And the imagination of building something, it's, you know, it's great. I'm just so, uh, it just inspires you to do more, it really does. So I'll explain the changes. So I've just roughly, my rope's just come, so I've just roughly uh, put some rope round this side here and then it goes through the slot and it will back turn on that round this bit and then through the hole, out through the ship and down to the dock and then this side will do this one. But... Uh, that's roughly uh, how it works and I'll tidy that up it'll get more turns on and then uh, it'll look it'll look a lot neater than it does and then they just carry spare rope with them uh, in this storage bit here things like that so that's that. Oh, one other thing I didn't show you. There's another man in his boiler suit working. Well, it would be if there's anything there. He's uh, 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 uh. there. He is. He'll be uh, tying containers down, ready or untying them, depending which way they're going with them. And there will be a crane opposite this one. With this being the open one, it looks like you know, I'll have to put a crane there when I make one of them. Okay, so the news. We're going to change the plans for the better, I think. And some ideas are going to be for the better. But... Um, one of the things is what's going to happen is instead of having two rooms, we're going to go up to three rooms. <laughs> well, it's going to make it, it is going to be for the better. Um, the fiddle yard is going to be in a room roughly about eight meters by 1.7, uh, over two levels, and it will mean. Each country will have its own area. So the top level, which is going to be America and Europe in two of the, you know, America in one room, Europe in the other room, they will go into the top level of the fiddle yard and have its own set of lines. Um, that is going to help if anybody comes they can un they'll understand it because it'll only have one set of trains as in american type or european type where the other layout plans was going to be mixed and if we wanted one out we would have to it wouldn't work the same so the fiddle yard is for the better now, Japan's going to have its own level. Instead of just a station moving people, we decided we wanted to uh, build more Japanese buildings, uh, learn how their, their, their shapes and stuff like that. Um, so America and Japan are going to be in one room and the England and Europe is going to go down in size. We're going to have it in a room instead of nearly eight meters before meters, it's going to be in a room six meters before meters. So I've just got to finish the plans on that, readjusting that. The container yard is still going to be in England, it's still going to be designed the same so I can run different countries into the container yard. So that'll look okay. 
Uh, Europe's going to get a little bit bigger because there's no Japan on one side. So they're going to have another industry in there. I've got ideas for, for that. Um, we may do away with a helix. Uh, go down to just two. There's one with America and Japan and one in the other, the other realm. The fiddle yard doesn't need a helix in. There will be the two short ones. What are going to take us up 200 mil for the Glacier Express. So uh, that, that will still happen. It will just be a shorter run because there will be two metres less in length. Um, so everything is for the better. Now the other thing we're going to do to make it more interesting. Japan, one of the lines, Japan's going to have two lines and a station. No industry, just scenery. But it's scenery, the whole of Japan level is going to be winter. They have a lot of snow. I fancy doing snow. So that is going to be a good big so snow sea. America is going to be fall, our autumn. England's going to be summer. And Europe here, the side of the layout. We'll have a little bit of snow on the top of the big mountain I'm going to do, but it's going to be spring. And that will make it so I have to do different things with the grass instead of just going, oh, well, I'll just use this type and do the same colour all the way through and stuff. I love autumn leaves. Uh, so America, you know, it's going to be a lot of trees there because I'm still going to have the scene with the winch system in the heritage area and I'm going to have a timber yard but it's going to be in a different setup of course the plan has changed and England and Europe, uh, and Europe are still going to have four lines on each but how they run into other countries is going to be totally different and I'll explain this in the next video and I'll show you the plans. But I have a new project to do and probably before I finish the ship. Now the reason, excuse me, the reason for that is the first room we're gonna do is America and Japan. Only because that's there, I have to sort the, uh, the fiddle room out and I have to build the big room so I need something in there to make the American one run straight virtually straight away it's getting close to when I start and I'm not, I am talking maybe a couple of months down the road still but the room has to be sorted before I can do it and it's to do with this stuff this is wood because I'm going to, when you enter that room, right in front is going to be the helix as near as dummy. And in front of the helix is going to be a big rock face with maybe a stream or a wall fall down. But round the outside of that helix, which is behind me, at the top level is going to be a big trestle bridge uh, it's going to be possibly about a, a 600 mil radius to get around the outside of that and have a bit of a gap in between the helix and those tracks and it's going to go virtually a full half turn I was going to have a small trellis bridge on the other American layout, but this is going to be really, it, it's going to be a bit like the boat. It's going to have a very good impact on the layout, I hope. So I'm going to design by research my own bridge, what they like, do the joints, carve the joints out, 
I'm going to grain all this wood using the techniques that uh, we've learned about with that double O scale model what Gemma is making at Stony Hall. Uh, he tells you how to grain the wood, mark the, you know, put marks in the wood and all that lot. So we're going to do that on this. And so I need this quite urgently so it's done. So the bow itself, the ship, may have to take a back seat because I don't need that until the third room. I was doing that just to get to know that one, it's done, uh, or the shape's done, and could I build it? That has been ticked. Uh, I'll still probably do bits on it, but I need to do this. And I need to do different things because working on that small uh, handrails and stuff, it sends your mind boggled. <laughs> so we're going to build a trestle bridge. I will do the plans and I will show you that in the next video as well as the plans for the new layout. So thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you and telling you all about this and showing you what I'm up to. So th thanks for stopping by, thanks for the new subscribers and look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.